hello everyone now we have done his theory of history who's Karl Marx and now we will see what was his theory of history called historical materialism what was it encounter of it was encounter of idealist view or let's say explanation of history by eagle this part we have done this part took most of the time now just understand historical materialism by Karl Marx what was he trying to establish that by history moves history will move obviously history moves in what direction in one direction why is it moving because according to him material is moving How does it, what does it mean, material is moving? What does it mean? Understand, dialectics. Argument 1, argument 2. Whichever argument wins, remains in the next step. It becomes synthesis. Now, if we are talking about material, what we are talking about is mode of production. So basically, history key movement is same as movement of mode of production. As in time, as as we will see that mode of production are changing hands, history is changing. Mode of production is changing, history is changing. What age are we living? Information age. Or let's say stone age. Iron Age. What does it mean? Here, stones, iron, tilling, information age, IT, computers. Your mode of production are changing. History is moving. Now, what kind of materialism is he talking about? It is dialectical form of materialism. What does this mean? Same thing. Thesis. Antithesis What they will do here they will collide they will be in conflict They will be in conflict They will have a struggle Understand When we are talking about idea we can use these words very easily when I am talking about idea in dialectics it becomes easy. You can say this is argument 1, this is argument 2. They are having a battle. What is it called? Debate. And synthesis is emerging. Synthesis emerges, history moves forward. Similarly, synthesis becomes the new argument. Then a counter argument will come. Then again synthesis. Again history moves forward. But when we are talking about matter, we are talking about mode of production. And who will be controlling those people? All people? No. A class of people. Whether you are land landowners, Zamindar in feudal society, or let's say Brahmins in your pre-Vedic or Vedic periods. But they are not actually having mode of production. They are intellectuals. Mode of production they were not having. Brahmin society was also feudal society. Okay. Or let's say 
after industrialization your capitalists factory owners so you will not be saying argument 1 and argument 2 here in material what you will be saying class 1 class 2 and they will have the conflict now what can you call this conflict struggle or let's say interest of these this class is against interest of this class similarly interest of this class is against the interest of this class they are in contradiction conflictual dialectical same meaning you generally use dialectical for ideas Marx is using for materialist understand material obviously cannot move so controlling that material whether you are producing iron whether you are producing steel your production is the main thing and the mode of production will determine the conflictual nature we have done Hegel's three laws for dialectics what is one unity of opposites basically if thesis is there antithesis is there electron is there proton is there negative is there positive is there ram is there raman is there basically good and bad day and night come together unity of opposites second is negation of negation whoever will be having the negative quality will get negated eventually and quantity changing into quality we have done that gym example you don't build a body in one day it takes a lot of time keeping that in mind who gave that Hegel keeping that in mind now understand classes what kind of classes we have done haves and have nots haves are also exploiter have nots are exploited what kind of relation they will be having conflict of interest they will see what does have not want they want that they get more pay what does exploiter or have or let's say the capitalist want that they work more and they get less pay lesser pay means more profit right hold on so understand his concept of classes very wisely now haves and have not will always have opposite interests and if their interests are opposite in nature and they have to work together technically so their relation will always be a relation of conflict or you can say relation of struggle and because they are two different kind of classes altogether you can say it is a relation of class struggle okay understand now lesser he will get payment more will be his profit more he will have profit lesser is his ability to ask for more why because he does not need you now he can establish more factory with cheaper workers okay so your bargaining power is decreasing in same proportion as his wealth is increasing more rich he is lesser you will mean to him obviously with that in mind understand very basic your life will be easy you just understand this thing for marks his history is nothing but change of mode of production nothing else 
according to him history is just that this thing is changing obviously we have seen that for him this is the base he's a structuralist and on this base only all the different institution of state family church exist what this base is economic base economic base means mode of production so basically mode of production is changing history is changing for him history is nothing but changing of mode of production that is why he was criticized also because he was not taking in context culture ka role values ka role nothing theek hai we have done it being referred as determinist that i want to say this only anyhow i will say this okay mono causal only one cause he is saying economic but no problem we have done criticism <laughs> let's try to understand his history according to him history till now when marx was alive so according to him history has seen few phases you can call them stages stages of history so first stage is your primitive communism see this he is saying that communism existed previously in fact in the beginning so you were living in a communist world primitive communism no state no classes no struggle no private property obviously if there are no classes that means there is no class struggle if there is no class struggle it means everything is static there is no need for state no classes only tab bhi possible hai when there is no property private property then the second stage came with a slave society here two classes masters and slaves either you could be master or slave what time greek times then we see medieval era stage 3 feudalism here mode of production is land agricultural land who will work on those land these people serfs who will own the lands feudal lords what is land mode of production here mode of production was slave slave was working theek hai you can own slave slave is your private property theek hai slave itself was a mode of production here land is capitalism stage 4 of history here capitalist who is owning the factory brand nike who will make those shoes who will make your levi's jeans workers two classes capitalist workers then what will be the next stage according to him we have done this in his theory of revolution the exploiter will keep on exploiting workers and workers one day will develop true consciousness true consciousness that is they will feel the heat of being exploited they will see clearly i am being exploited and when when that happens a class in itself will become class for itself they will become revolutionary it will be a spontaneous no one will be a leader who will be leader everyone everyone of you you will see that you are not 
under false consciousness anymore you are not seeing yourself as indian or hindu or muslim or french or british or german you will feel that you are worker who was being exploited by the basic economic system structure which granted these capitalist a sense of ownership over the mode of production making you think that it is completely natural or have common sense to work get a job when the revolution will end when the revolution will end the workers will become the exploiter and the capitalist will become exploited reversal of roles who was in control of state pehle capitalists were in the control of state they were using the instrument of state for the exploitation of workers but now workers will control state workers will use the state to slowly 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 redistribute the wealth and with due time with due time we will see that state will become redundant there will be no use of state everyone is happy rich wealthy enough resources are allocated to everyone you have water you have food 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 you have home you have home you have home you have home polio drops done polio drops done polio drops done polio drops done what will state do this stage when there will be no state and everyone looks almost same you cannot differentiate who was worker who was capitalist anymore there is no class anymore this stage in marx world is stage of communism from capitalism to socialism we went with a revolution it was a spontaneous movement there was no leader you developed true consciousness in socialism we see that classes still exist workers and capitalists but the roles are reversed workers are in charge now this is a dictatorship of proletariat proletariat means workers or let's say property less men from socialism very slowly slowly evolution takes time from a single cell organism you become this multicellular multi tissue multiple organs you are having in a human body it took millions of year even in fact billions of year it is a slow process evolution revolution is very sudden overnight overnight you can have a revolution but evolution is a slow process there is state yes who is controlling workers but because workers are so many basically whole society is state society almost equal to state here state will become automatically useless eventually as resources will be redistributed pehle just two people were having most of the wealth 100 were not now all have some some and we reach the stage of communism 
now communism understand communism no classes if there are no classes that means there is no conflict if there is no conflict we can say there is no struggle there is no class struggle if there is no class struggle how will history move history was moving when there was struggle then somebody will win and we will say synthesis has occurred this is what our theory of dialectical materialism states not idea mode of production here mode of production will not change na now because everybody community is owning everything so can we say this is end of history in marx perspective yes history will end when struggle will end struggle will end when classes will not be there anymore so you remove classes you get end of history history will not move history will only move if there is change in mode of production that is your base revolution understand it is a action based thing spontaneous action everyone together revolt of 1857 why do we call it revolution because sudden spontaneous evolution it is a time based thing just like single cell say men if that is clear let's try to understand few points which will be making you confused when i am talking about socialism understand socialism is a umbrella concept india is also a socialist country but when i am referring socialism here i am talking about marx ka socialism there are many ways to understand differences but this is the most easy and direct method if you understand this i don't see you having to face any problem any fear okay you just try to understand the distribution of wealth ka formula in marx ke socialism mein there are state there is state there are classes but how are you distributing wealth or wealth is what just resources you are taking from each according to his ability can you teach teach can you be a watchman then do can you fight then okay fight what will you be getting in reward according to your work whatever market will decide is this capitalist view yes capitalism also say you work more you get paid more but they decide that by intellectual work is more far greater than let's say physical wor- work but you cannot live with physical work can you live without intellectual work yes can you live without physical work no you cannot live without physical work in communism we see that redistribution of wealth you are taking from each man according to his ability same but you will be giving back according to his need if one person is having 10 children then he will be getting more because he has to feed many people theek hai even though his work is again let's say watchman then also he will get according to his need 
because that is what the role of society is why is society there for benefit of man because man ki all the necessities cannot be fulfilled by man alone that is why he creates society so society should be handling this thing na your basic needs basic requirement communism is based on society society is the key element in more brotherhood form we call society community what is capitalism it is the economic doctrine can you say now understand capitalism is democracy they favor liberal values capitalism is a product of liberal values or let's say liberal ideology is the tool that capitalists use to forward their goals they favor democracy but their democracy is democracy of minorities because rich will always be less than the poor now in socialism what do we see here also democracy we want and here also we see a majority but this time majority is of workers basically the core difference between capitalism oh sorry did i say here also okay the core difference between the two doctrines marx socialism and capitalism will be that here the rule will be of majority majority is ruling who is majority workers in capitalism who is ruling rich oligarchy ambani adani modi okay now state is just an instrument to ease your life to reach your goals you will need this instrument of state now in democracy of minorities who will be the minority rich rich will be in control of state and in marx socialism workers will be in control of state if that thing is clear understand if you are a money and you are controlling basically the state you will go for more economic intermingling with asean rcp more economic more economy you will want to or let's say your rafal deal who is getting benefit you are getting benefit you are getting work but if majority the workers are in control of state what will be your prime goals bhaiya basic necessities food health education work jobs theek hai female mortality rate ttc etc if that thing is clear then understand bhaiya ussr to was a communist china to bibi they call their party communist party but they have failed they have adopted ussr now russia they are all using capitalism as their basic structure of economy so can we say communism failed understand communist soviet and communist china were not perfect com- communism they were not actually real communism they just used marx's key ideas and then they modified it why to get power theek hai marx's ideas are very strong they modified it to suit themselves and they came in power 
obviously in communism you are free you are free to do whatever you want why because your basic needs are taken care of by whom by society but here we see totalitarian regime in ussr and china total rule i will declare what website you can surf i will declare what news you can publish i will declare where you can visit in the country basically you are using marxist theories modifying them to forward your agenda which is getting power coming in power now what we see is dictatorship of communist party marx was never in favor of communist party because understand marx is in favor of communism and communism means no classes if there is a party that it, then it means that hierarchy will be there one will be let's say sonia gandhi type what is sonia gandhi president of the communist party then there will be general secretaries then regional secretaries automatically bureaucratic order this is this is a class hierarchy means there are classes class 1 officers class 1 officer class 2 officer class 3 class 4 your clerks lower division clerks upper division clerks he is for no classes so obviously he is not in favor of communist party if that is clear communist party is in control who will communist party be they will be in total control of everything so total control of economy also what is putin's net worth the last i saw it was around 2 to 3 billion dollars so he is a rich guy in fact the whole of russia is a oligarchic system rule of rich only theek hai this is not communism so can we say that communism failed no we never saw communism marx ka communism to at least we did not see now understand this thing marx is not a fool marx is not a fool he is not a stupid person the most unique and original idea he is giving so obviously he must be having some sense ke bhai communism is too good to be true it is very hard to get to this point of history communism he himself knew that it is complete utopia so it will take lot of intelligence to understand what marx actually wanted what marx actually wanted was to make capitalism more human what did mill do js mill js mill tried to make bentham bentham's utilitarian more human and moral which was being regarded as a pig philosophy because only two things pleasure and pain profit and loss it was talking about similarly karl marx was trying to make capitalism more humane and to understand this understand this hidden message you will need your intelligence you will need to apply your mind 
so what one achievement of Karl Marx we can say that he was the one who made capitalist fearful his theories were frightening capitalist were scared ke bhaiya ye kya bol raha hai workers can unite and do a bloody revolution understand this thing blood khoon kharaba death it will make any person fearful and they had too much to lose property your antila in mumbai your ferrari your mercedes you can lose that all the luxuries marx marx's ideas made capitalist aware ke bhai there is issues with capitalism and we need to rectify we need to solve it how do we solve it by making social and economic concerns of equality incorporated in the current capitalist regime which becomes your welfare state welfare state obama care health education etc state will provide ambani ke bacche government school nahi jate hain they don't go to government schools who are they for workers how many are these workers are sab all are workers few are capitalist and they only are holding all the wealth others just work for them on salary they become fearful they are in control of state they control state so they made sure that elements of social equality and economic equality are incorporated into capitalism theek hai and this was the original intent of karl marx but obviously this is not written anywhere you will need to use your intelligence to come to this conclusion if that is understood let's try to understand lenin now russian revolution bolshevik revolution we say that communism has failed we say that capitalism is a clear winner which obviously capitalism is capitalism is not because we saw what happened in 2008 in 2008 things will change it will be clear that by capitalism is not a very robust thing robust is too strong to break it is not like that understand lenin was very very impatient now why was he impatient he was impatient because he was a very big believer in marx's ideas he treated marx as god lenin ko we say the peter who denied his master he failed his master how 
he became impatient he became impatient for what reason because history was not moving as marx predicted now why was history not moving as to how marx predicted it because capitalism changed how did capitalism changed due to imperialism what does this mean that location of exploitation changed understand this is britain or let's say europe your whole doctrine is based upon two things classes the classes getting true consciousness revolting socialism communism this is your whole doctrine for classes you have to do nothing classes are there have and have not but true consciousness how will be developed if this is britain and you have people here and everyone is getting a very high wage everyone is getting health everyone is getting pension relaxations social security why will they revolt these are capitalist understand you are not exploiting these anymore what you are doing is you have shifted exploitation to some place else you are exploiting some place else somewhere else here people are being exploited east india company a company capitalist businessman exploiting india bringing money back to country to whom britain what will britain do it will use that money that you have what is profit understand profit is nothing but how much you have exploited other person in marx sense profit is how much you have exploited so more exploitation means more profit and this money you are using to give high wages to your citizens you are providing health care pension service relaxation social security why will these people feel that there is anything wrong with the current system because they cannot see the lives of the exploited ones because the location has changed and why this location has changed imperialism colonialism you have shifted the location of exploitation and these people they no one is there to teach them tell them about their exploitation until and unless one person arrives and start mobilizing every one of them making them see see what is going on see what is being done to you but this is after marx so capitalism is changing in nature and hence we do not see these people rising up for revolution developing true consciousness obviously a person who was waiting for revolution to happen will become very impatient so what does he try to do he adapts ke chalo bhai if revolution won't come 
or revolution will come in a very long time I will have to do it quickly now how do I do that first I need to select place where do I start the revolution Russia why Russia because Russia industrialization just started see whenever a new technology will come let's say AI is coming and IT sector will lose job the time when AI will be coming at that time most most distrust and let's say anger will be in the mind of people first time computer game same thing email same thing you used to have a person secretary personal assistant or secretary PA available to write your mails and everything now you can do it yourself on a computer at that time also lot of anger so industrialization has just started when new malls were coming in India all the shopkeepers were very very afraid my friend told me okay now understand only at that time shopkeepers were fearful now they have also adjusted they have adjusted now these flip carts and amazons are coming now these mall people are afraid but that also they have adjusted but still we see issues right like recently unfair practices regime that they are calling these huge technology giants as they are giving huge discount coupons they are demanding minimum sale price over these networks of internet malls or let's say internet marketplaces so we see that currently anger and issue is very much in prominence for same reason he selected Russia industrialization just started people are losing jobs more revolutionary element his second change was that he gave huge role to Communist Party understand Marx was not in favor of Communist Party because he was not in favor of classes and understand this thing peasantry for Marx who was the revolutionary class it was workers why because workers were seen as property less people property less class you have nothing to lose if you have nothing to lose then only you will start killing and changing the regime but understand Russia Russia is a agrarian state not now that time it was a agrarian society now understand Marx his whole idea is a criticism to capitalism this is not capitalism this is agrarian this is medieval or let's say feudal feudal society they have that is land zamindar serfs working so your doctrine of revolution is for capitalism where workers and capitalists will be in contradiction but you are trying to use the doctrine in a society which is feudal in nature not capitalist understand Lenin the whole three changes that Lenin has made is complete is in complete opposition to what Marx has told Marx want to change bring change or re bring revolution 
in a capitalist society, not a feudal society, first. He does not want to give any role to Communist Party. Lenin wants to. His revolutionary class is not peasants because peasants also have lands. Farmer, Kisan. Workers do not. But you are doing what you have. Obviously, industrial revolution just started in Russia. So, workers' ki quantity will be less. Who will be more? Because it is agrarian society. Who will be more? Peasants will be more. So, if you need to have a revolution, what is your target audience? Peasant. Itno se, what revolution will you do? Not possible. You need this class. Hence, you modified according to peasants. But you did not achieve communism. You called it communism, but it was not communism. It was dictatorship of communist party. After Marx's revolution, Marx's revolution, what do you achieve? Dictatorship of proletariats. What does it mean? Property less or workers ka rule. But here you are seeing dictatorship of communist party which is a totalitarian state. State. So you understand. It is not that communism has failed. It is Lenin who failed. Co -co communism. Okay. It is not Marx ka communism. You are just making Marx feel bad or let's say you are portraying for a normal person who has not taken political science he will always think that by Marx ka communism is a very bad thing no Lenin ka is Marx never said these things contradictions of capitalism what does contradiction mean Contradiction means not sustainable. There is a contradiction. Like whatever capitalism want to do, it will it is actually not doing it. In fact, it is digging its own grave. That is capitalism will make sure it end. Capitalism will end itself. It is such destructive in nature. How? Man created society so that man ki needs can be assured of. But you are not producing according to need. Production is the social thing. It is a social activity. For that only society is there for production. But you are not producing according to need. You are producing according to greed. Even today, if we see India ka economy is in a slow term slowdown. So the solution that they gave is always that by demand demand we should be rise rising. Are bhai, they are happy with their rice and dal. Why do you want to make them ask for more cars and more scooters and bikes this is your definition of boosting economy giving impetus to economy no this is what Marx say that you are doing things producing things according to greed not need second contradiction is That capitalism makes coexistence very superficial. You will be with a person and you will not see him as a person or a human being. You will see him as a competitor. Another fellow human being is just an insecurity ka source for you. Nothing else. He can take my job. He is better than me. He has such a big home. He has such a big car.
you are demoting human human is not like that human is artist in nature he wants to see what is there why is he alive what is there in the world what is the meaning of existence but you are reducing him to just competition competition and comparison nothing else how much profit you have made how much wealth you have generated that's it society is supposed to take care of man's need but here man does not feel a relation with society anymore it feels society is judging how will it judge on the basis of your accomplishment what is the prime what is the prime factor of visualizing accomplishment wealth how much wealth you have collected acha to bhai bahut accomplished fir to bhai acche ho theek hai your tradition your values also change with that but that is not humane in nature third contradiction you do work you do work how you provide labor you provide labor and that labor will generate profit who will that profit go to that profit will go to capitalist and what will that capitalist use that profit for that capitalist will, will use that profit to establish another factory more jobs more people good thing but then again he will use that profit to get better machines removing your need r and d more r and d more technological ease in it sector what are people working on artificial intelligence today you are working on artificial intelligence tomorrow it will remove your job it will automate everything what will you, will will you work on then so labor of your labor is working against you you yourself are exploiting you yourself are helping your exploitation you are working for the capitalist in your exploitation so the capitalist is not his work was over when you believed that this is the way of life working a job in a factory his job was over by then after that you yourself are helping him to exploit you you yourself are working for your own replacement you yourself are giving up your bargaining power more rich he is lesser your value with the contradictions clear understand this thing now marx does not believe in middle class he has only two classes haves and have not according to him as capitalism will be moving forward as capitalism will be moving forward towards end more exploitation will be there so here more exploitation here less exploitation and as more and more exploitation will be there everyone will be only these two classes haves and have not there will be no more capit- middle class polarization means two right and wrong white and black 
so at the peak of polarization or the peak of exploitation you will have only two one and two haves and have not understand for Marx capitalism is a monopolistic in nature monopoly monopoly keyword monopoly means one player only in the market as capitalism will progress exploitation will increase competition will become tougher and tougher monopoly means one only one see geo vodafone and airtel asking for showing losses vodafone saying that maybe we will have to leave india idea gone hutch vodafone took over it who is there? who else is there not profitable search engine google yahoo yahoo bing no no google social media orkut facebook facebook no orkut in fact facebook is the owning company of whatsapp instagram we are seeing monopoly one only will be in the end remaining for everything we are seeing that in IT sector why we are seeing that in IT sector because it is very fast technology it is its speed is very very high car manufacturing companies Hyundai is there Maruti is there let's say Toyota is there after 100 years we don't know maybe one or two technology will only act as a catalyst it will help escalate this process of capitalism more capitalism more the wealth will be concentrated just two fellows having 99% wealth these many 0 0.0001 because you are workers, they are capitalist. Now, this situation is not healthy. Few people having most of the wealth. This is the current scenario. This is not natural at all. This is a state of disequilibrium. What is the natural state? Equilibrium is the natural state. And to go from equilibrium to equilibrium the process is revolution equilibrium is restored you are restored to natural state when will revolution occur when class in itself will become class for itself for that you need to develop real consciousness true consciousness Capitalism has a concept of cycle. The economy in capitalism will always go through a boom and bust cycle. Or let's say a bull and bear cycle. Market is going good, share is going good, share is going good, share is going good, then nobody is doing good. Slow down, slow down. This is what is known as slowdown of economy. And again, because greed is your aspect, you will try to revive demand side, consumption side. There is no need for that. You are just unnecessarily making some person get cheaper loan so that he can get car. But bhai, he does not go more than 8 km away from his house ever. This is not sustainable. Plus, understand. How will he pay that loan back? 
he will need to have some income but if his income is let's say 100 rupees and his kharcha is 90 rupees he won't be taking loan na kill from the 10 pending i will pay the loan no he will take loan when his wages will rise but if his wages rise then capitalism capitalist will lose money lose profit so if his wages rise you lose but if his wages does not rise whatever product you have made that won't sell that would not be getting sold anywhere understand you are capitalist you create car this is slowdown of economy why slowdown because wages are not rising by resources are less so resources keep price will keep on increasing loha iron will keep on rising price if you want to make this car sold easily you need to put money in pockets of people so that they can start buying instant money you need to put in the pocket you can use loans make sure that banks start giving loan cheap on cheap interest but why would he take that loan he will eventually have to pay he will take the loan when his income will rise wages will rise but his wage also is in hand of some capitalist if capitalist increase the wage he will again lose if he does not increase then also he will lose because his car won't get sold see the dilemma this is what contradiction of capitalism is do you see that it is very very negative in nature Ravan type so what is the rule of dialectics negative gets negated negation of negative negation of negation capitalism is not positive thing it is a negative thing and it will eventually get negated law of dialectics if that is clear <laughs> let's try to understand concept of surplus Marx concept of surplus value surplus is more than need capitalists call that profit now understand capitalists are in control of state Ammani Adani BJP fund specialization role what do they do politics will they be creating any law that is not in favor of Ammani and Adani no in fact they will help them now point is how come capitalists are so powerful why what is the source of their power so the source of their power is ownership what are they owning 
they can own capital means madhyam what is the only thing in the world that is important to man his needs some needs are your basic needs some are let's say manufactured needs manufacture need to have a apple iphone apple watch these are manufactured desires then there are some basic desires good health good education good home good environment good environment i mean pollution free environment now you are owning capital you are owning means of production means of production will only fulfill your needs your need will get fulfilled only when capitalist allow he is in control of the means see the power let's say you are an alcoholic you are an alcoholic lat you need to have let's say whiskey daily 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 but this whiskey will be produced by some capitalist in some factory he is in control he owns the means of producing your drug how powerful now marx is not seeing this power in terms of executive power that what can he do money view of power he is not seeing he is not saying that money is power and with money he can mobilize all the resources that he want anywhere for any reason he can use the political power of state with money no what he is saying is bargaining power understand worker is working he is giving his labor and your labor will be working against you how let's say this is usa and you have this factory here it is apple factory theek hai now you are worker here and you are working here you your salary is monthly 100 dollars you work here every day for 8 hours every day no leave 100 dollars you get you produce iphone and your iphone gets sold for let's say 1000 dollars so 900 dollars your capitalist earns with that 900 dollars what he can do is he can establish more factories more factories more people working good thing right jobs ye but eventually he will realize that see what is the prime motive for capitalist to increase his profit so how can you increase profit further after some point by making them work more hours so that you produce more money your product is money only or you can reduce their wages but what is best of all doing both and how do you do that you go to a place which is cheaper here you establish factory you say that now you create the apple watch apple phones what is your salary 20 dollars per month how much can how much are you supposed to work 12 hours every day no leaves see the difference now this factory has shifted here now what will these guys do what will these people do they will be jobless they will be jobless 
jobless means no income but they worked so long so 10 years 20 years their life how come they have now no income because they are working for somebody else for somebody else's interest and every time they were working for them they were working in favor of their exploitation but now contradiction will come contradiction of capitalism see the phones that you are producing obviously these people cannot buy twenty dollar they are earning they won't be buying this so who will you sell it to you will have to sell it in a society which can afford this apple iphone and you will want to sell it back to these people only but how will they buy this apple iphone they don't have job they do not have job anymore why because you took their job away and now you want to sell them the same iphone how will they buy it for that you bring in banks ke bhai help us sell tabhi to ye easy emi offers everything so that you do not feel the burden of giving so much money that is why too much money is spent on advertisement to make you feel that like you need it you don't need it you will just you are just a victim of consumerism you just want to be someone which you are not this is contradiction of capitalism how long can this thing work obviously and understand seeing this thing again and again yet people are not going for a revolution now we know this thing that social equality and economic equality ke elements we have incorporated in capitalism but still it is not enough obviously we are seeing this thing this is very true thing that happened so why why this stupidity is continuing because liberal philosophers have been forwarding the notion of capitalism for a very long time and they have made sure that this idea of capitalism becomes your common sense a worker is not just a worker he in his dreams is thinking to be capitalist only capitalist role model type figure he has in his head that okay one day i will also be this factory owner i will also be ambani i will also be bill gates can you will you will all 7 8 billion people be bill gates obviously no but you have somehow managed to make capitalism seem like common sense like aise hi to hota hai if you say to a worker if worker say that bhai i am being exploited you can say to start your own business why don't you become that factory owner obviously his situation is different he cannot you got too much money you were well put in the society every person has different level in society some are fortunate some are not but those things are not taken in consideration and you will be given a random example of some person who brought 10 rupees only in delhi and now is 5000 crore rupee party but obviously that is once in a lifetime situation 
is it normal to use that kind of rare achievement subject to all the workers no so welfare state did it come for the benefit of people no it came to protect capitalism ka idea otherwise bhaiya bahut fear it was too much fear it was in the minds of capitalists but obviously welfare state social and economic equality it has been so long do you see social and economic equality anywhere in the world no in fact we see more and more rise of inequality it is becoming sharper and sharper centers of concentrated wealth have started to emerge new york london mumbai all the wealth concentrated in these few places in dubai singapore hong kong so okay you were able to protect capitalism by inducting socialist and equal economic equality but it will never be a permanent solution because now we have started to see because now we have started to see that why capitalism no country is there who has just benefited of out of capitalism the benefit might be this much but losses are this much how environment destruction few people have become rich by destroying the whole of environment that is not normal okay so with that being understood i hope that you understand this concept of contradictions now his theory of alienation what does alienation mean alienation means separation vibhajan isolation basically you are in a room locked now understand liberalism is just the philosophy that will be making justification for this capitalism nothing else earlier it would be let's say individualistic individual is the soul core of the whole society then you will say nahi bhaiya utilitarian now you will try to incorporate social values also but same thing you are trying to do you are trying to defend this economic structure which is the base which determines everything else now obviously obviously how do you put forward liberalism by making liberty in the crux of the whole ideology liberty freedom free to do anything free to speak free to etc etc marx for marx this liberty and freedom is not liberty and freedom it is alienation for marx freedom is 
freedom to do anything that you want. But let's say you are this person. When will you be able to do whatever you want? Only when your basic needs are done. You do not need to worry about food, home, or let's say shelter, clothes, roti, kapda, makan. These things done. Now you are free to do whatever you want. Otherwise, what is the life of a rickshaw guy? That cartwheel, you know. Or let's say let's say let's say let's say one construction worker do you think he's free no he is not free he is working for his basic needs food health clothes when these things are taken care of then only you will go for education then only you will find something that you like in your life you will go for coding or you will go for fashion designing or you will go for UPSC anything but if you are not getting food your first objective in life would be to acquire food and that will take a whole lot of your time you are not free and we see that Marx has said that society comes into existence for fulfilling your basic need your basic need can be fulfilled not just by you as your need will require production and you cannot produce yourself it is a social activity so your basic need ki requirement ki wajah se society is coming into existence no other reason so there is an organic link between man and society man has needs which to fulfill these needs only society comes society fulfills these needs hence there is a relation between man and society which is very organic very natural Society comes for fulfilling your needs. Man has need. Society is important for man. But do you see this society giving you freedom from, from searching for food, shelter and clothes? No. Then what kind of society is this? This is not your society. This is not fulfilling your need. So there is a detachment you do not feel that the society owes you anything or you owe society anything you do not feel that society has done anything for you how will you feel if I say that you start giving back to society it will make no sense and because your basic needs are not fulfilled you are not free there is no freedom no freedom this organic link who is destroying this organic link between man and society capitalism is capitalism destroys the organic link between man and society society comes into existence for fulfilling basic needs of man these basic needs are not getting fulfilled because by yeah, education privatized health privatized if society starts doing this function, how will you earn profit? When you can earn 10 lakh rupees, when you get a cancer patient who will not live, why get him free treatment? What will you do with 10 lakh? Take to heaven. Better leave it with us. We are capitalists. So, society has no value in your life and you are alienated. Marx shows 
alienation of man in four levels first is alienation in the process of production production is a social activity production is a social activity people work together lots of people together they take mutual decision collective decisions but here you are getting order from above ye wo theek hai chalo for efficiency good but then there are machines machines there is a concept of production line you stand here you do this the stand here do this stand here do this everyone is doing something 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 product ready man is just there because robots are not there let's say otherwise there is no use of human so you are alienated from the process of production itself you don't feel belonging to production it is not like your creative input is being taken or let's say every product is unique every product is same every jeans is same all mechanized all done by machine in indian handicrafts one toy will not be same as another toy it will have slight variations it is unique one only made by hand leather industry made by hand the second level of alienation is you are alienated from the product of your labor because capitalism demand that you become specialized and specialized and specialized too much specialization because too much efficient too much competition is there you need to compete and you need to find let's say upsc you are competing then in labasna you will be competing then in district you will be competing then you will be competing to get the cabinet chair specialize 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 what this has led to is that man if let's say this man is making watch he will not be making total watch he will be making either hands of the watch or the strap of the watch but in the end he will not be able to see what actually has been created because he is making straps and capitalist is selling that straps somebody will be assembling concept of assembly iphone assembled in china parts made somewhere else went somewhere assembled you are not feeling a connection with the final product you are alienated from the product you are alienated from the society man is a social animal you need people to talk you are like that alone you will become i don't know what you will become you will need to have some kind of interaction with humans but you will have no time to interact and socialize why because your working condition will be like that 9 to 5 in the best case scenario otherwise why 9 to 11 9 to 9 these are normal this is if you are ice officer okay and then last but not the least you are separated from yourself why because of all these three sum total of these three alienation makes you alienated from yourself what you want what you want to achieve what you understand there is no you are not able to comprehend what is going on in the world what your knowledge is what your understanding of your knowledge is 
now how can we end this alienation we can end this alienation by removing capitalism if we remove this capitalism and establish communism how will communism help communism will make sure that our production is according to our need not greed if need we are producing and no contradiction is there because there are no classes and if there is no contradiction between classes there is also no contradiction between man and society the relationship between man and society will be again organic organic link will be restored if organic link is restored between man and society no alienation man can live with another man easily he will not see him as competitor he will see another man as fellow human okay with this we end karl marx his major ideas that you have to keep in note is his theory of history historical materialism what kind of materialism dialectical materialism his theory of revolution his history will include your let's say theory of revolution also then your base and superstructure concept basis economic his concept of class and class struggle his concept of alienation and surplus value how profit that you are making the capitalist earn is working against you then contradictions of capitalism how capitalism will dig its own grave 2008 what happened great depression read about it not great depression economic crisis great depression is 1935 i think with this it's over chalo bye bye